welcome to digital softics uh, in this session we will explain you about the functions of database management system so we are continuing the lectures of database management system so in this session we go through the different kind of functionality of database management system so let's move towards the agenda for today uh, what is database management system is just the formal definition uh, popular database management systems uh, functions of a database management system so let's go towards agenda so what is DBMS so a database management system is a software package designed to define manipulate retrieve and manage data in a database so a database management system is usually the collection of program by the help of which we perform different kinds of operation on a database with the help of database management system we store data in the database we manage the data we perform different kinds of operation on the data present in the database so with the help of database management system we easily interact with the database so let's move towards database so a database is an organized collection of data generally stored and access electronically from a computer system so computer system use database management system to access their data stored in the database so let's move towards some kind of uh, or you can say the examples of different kinds of database management system so number one is MySQL MySQL is open source relational data based in management system its name is a combination of my the name of co-founder Michael Windus daughter and SQL the abbreviation for structured QE language so MySQL is a very popular database management system so my is just the co the name of the co-founder which suggests this my for this uh, database management system and SQL SQL is structured query language so as SQL is a usually a database language by the help of which we can interact with the database uh, with the help of uh, structured query language we create database we delete database uh, we create the data in the database we insert the data in the database we delete so we perform different kind of operation uh, and SQL is a language which use commands such as create database delete database so these are just uh, different kinds of command so in SQL tutorial we will explain these kind of things the commands the SQL so number second one example is Oracle database management system so Oracle database management system is a multi-modal database management system uh, produced and marketed by Oracle Corporation it is a database commonly used for running online transaction processing data warehousing and mixed data workloads so Oracle is uh, one of the popular popular database management system so uh, such as uh, we download uh, Oracle uh, Java JDK from Oracle uh, such as Oracle University offers different kinds of certifications in database management system in application development so it is up to you that you can access the certification program of Oracle so Oracle is a a company which provide a different kinds of certifications in the database management system so Oracle database is another uh, type of database management system so we use it for different kinds of tra transaction processing uh, the third one is IBM 2 TB2 family uh, TB2 is a family of database management uh, products including database server developed by IBM the initial support the rational model so IBM TB2 fa family is uh, another example of database management system which include database servers uh, developed by IBM so this is the third ex example of database management system so it's just uh, sharing you uh, the different kinds of uh, popular database man management system that how they look like so moving towards the main topic of this session which is functions of database management system 
so database management system is really very very important because it help us to perform different kinds of operation uh, on the data present in the database and with the help of database management system we interact with the database so number one is data processing so the most important function of dbms is data processing it include creation storage and management of data in the database so we create and store the data in the database and we uh, perform different kinds of arrangement of the uh, present data in the database so dbms also provide access to the data store in the database so with the help of dbms we interact with the database and we uh, use that data for our help and for different kinds of operation present in the database so it is a data processing so we perform different kinds of operation on the data the second one is transaction support so a collection of all steps to complete a processing a processes is known as transaction so a transaction is the collection of processes which are completed so dbms should sub, uh, should support transaction it must ensure that all the steps in the transaction are executed successfully or non, none of them is executed so transaction support is really very very important so if a user want to insert the data in the database so it is a transaction process so it is a transaction so if the data is not successfully added to the database so the dbms should provide the support that the transaction is not successful and the data is not inserted so the facility ensure that database is always in consistent even if a transaction fails due to some problem such as system crash or power failure etc so transaction support is really very very important so when the processes are completed so the dbms should gives us the message that transaction is successful completed so when the data is entered successfully it makes a transaction otherwise it is not a transaction because a transaction is a complete process not even the incomplete so transaction support is really very very important a uh, third one is concurrency support a situation occur when more than one user want to access the same data simultaneously is called concurrency so it is common uh, thing because when there are num more than one user can access the same data uh, which is called concurrency so this situation may result in the loss of information or loss of integrity dbms must provide the the concurrency support so it enables multiple users to access the same record simultaneously without any loss of data so simultaneous concurrency support is really very very important because the same data is accessed by more than one user thousands millions of users can access the data so concurrency support of database management system is that that the same data can be accessed by more than one user <clears throat> without any kind of uh, any kind of lose of data or any kind of interruption so the fourth one is recovery services so a dbms must provide a mechanism to recover a database if it is damaged in any way so dbms provide the mechanism to recover the data so data is wealth so when we have some kind of uh, um the problem occur and uh, the data is deleted or the data is corrupted so dbms provide the facility to recover the data so it is also a very important uh, function of a database management system the recovery services authorization services dbms must ensure the security of database to authorization services it should ensure that only authorized user can access the database so the authorization is normally implemented with the help of passwords so the data security is really very important thing and in this age the hackers and malicious user can access your data without any kind of authorization so dbms also provide security support to the present data or the current data store in the database so these are the different functionality of dbms so dbms functionality are really very important and help us at how the data is stored and how the data is managed and how